even a time limit. In this corner from Downers Grove, Illinois, weighing 227 pounds, Angelo Papa. In this corner from Chicago, weighing 225 pounds, Bobby Manigault. The referee, Maury Friedman. Well, good evening, everybody. This is old Pappy Davis talking to you, Ringside International Amphitheater, Chicago. This is one uh, which you have never seen uh, come off here at the amphitheater before. Between Bobby Manigoff on the left and Angel Poffo on the right, these uh, boys are a little bit on the rugged side. Somewhat of a pop is our boy Poffo, but nonetheless, well, he's just tougher than the guy who comes after the second installment on your furniture. This is a one fall 30 minute affair. These are Texas rules. I use that word advisedly because they're catches, catch can, of course, all of these exhibitions are under the supervision of the Illinois Athletic Commission. This always gets a laugh out of the crowd. I don't know why people think that uh, Papo is going to make an exhibition out of himself, but uh, maybe they always hope that he forgot the other pair. I don't know. But at any rate, uh, we'll be off and running. Und here we go. Bobby Manigoff, the big boy in the black trunks, Angelo Papo in the light trunks. They're into the corner. It's like sticking your head in a taffy machine, isn't it, Angelo? Hmm? Well, for Angelo not to be up to skullduggery coming off of the ropes, it's unusual. Maybe now he'll take a go at it. Oh, standing around looks like Holland. Bunch of windmills. Well, there was Nurnbauer falling on Manigoff. Angelo hanging on to it. Manigoff attempting a chin set there. Uh, Angelo's hand got caught in his hair. Upset it. I didn't pull his hair, really. In the case of the referees, he couldn't have. You get this boy mad in a minute. Manigoff is an Armenian boy. He's got a temper to suit that part of the world, believe me. Seldom have ever blows his stack, but when he does, let go from the trunks, Angelo. This is a headlock, in case you've never seen one, if you're a neophyte to wrestling. Under these rather broad Texas rules, there's a side mare, or a headlock kipped, has half a dozen different names. Uh, to get back to these rules, uh, about the only thing that's barred are uh, Colt 45s, brass knuckles, and pickaxe handles. I'm only kidding, of course, but gouging and strangling. 
or choke holes are the only holes really barred. Anything else a man can dream up or get away with uh, under the eyes of these pretty fast Illinois Athletic Commission referees. And they are appointed by the commission. This is the only place in the country where it happens all through the state of Illinois. Some states they even allow wrestlers to be referees. Buffo's trying here with a neck set. But Manigoff had a little bit too much of a headlock on him. Trying to flail out and that's not going to work either, I don't believe. Well, he did break it up by putting on a head scissors momentarily. Well, Bobby, how long are you going to fall for that maneuver? One. Bobby has a peculiar habit of putting on a headlock and keeping his head very high. When that headlock is reversed, why it leaves his head sticking up there like Aunt Nellie's old mailbox. Papo knows it and slaps the, the leg scissors on it. Menegoff has a way of putting on a headlock where he buries his knuckles sometimes either in your ear or on the bridge of your nose. To use an old British saying, it isn't half rich. Go ahead, poke him, Bobby. Uh oh, look at that takeaway. This is a hammer lock. Angelo gently kneading the biceps of Mr. Manigoff here. Bobby's going to give him the back of his elbow if he can catch him in the vicinity. Saw Bobby break four ribs one night. Old Rainbow Gardens here in Chicago. When he was a young man breaking in. He had a caved in portion of his chest that looked like you could put a cantaloupe in it. And yet he, according to him, never even went to the doctor's office. These boys are tough, think you not. It's still a hammerlock. Barely possible that there's some finger splitting or uh, perhaps a Japanese wrist lock added in there. No, Angelo, uh, you can't uh, put the man up on the tee by using his hair. Big, well developed muscular lads like these are subject to. Muscle stripping, they call it. Uh, actually, it's a terrific cramp of the muscles when they've been put on an unnatural strain, such as this hold causes. And sometimes they seem a little helpless. That's the reason for it. Angelo, the man has got eyes. He's not accompanied by a seeing eye dog. When he tells you you're pulling hair, believe me, you are. We can see you. Stave him off for a second or two, Bobby. 
Oh, that's good for his head. this stage of the game that Angelo wants to pick up his pretty uniform and go home to mother. I've never known a man outside of Hunch Smith to be so universally disliked as this boy. And he is, believe me. Grecian knuckle locks. You know, when you were kids, you played this called wrist busting. I'm afraid, Angelo, you picked on the wrong boy here. He's a little too powerfully built for this. That's a good way to wind it up with a kangaroo. Stick around. We got a big evening of bone crushing yet. The voice from outer space was just the uh, official timekeeper. He's tied into the PA system, and uh, by virtue of being tied into it, why well, he's tied into us too. Hey, Stash, you get this guy mad, you got your hands full. He's, he's got a right cock there, Bobby. Watch him. Right hand to his is all. Oh, that's a good way to fix, fix the left. <laughs> Bob isn't an old campaigner. He's been around for a long time, but he wrestles abroad a good deal. He loves New Zealand and Australia and Europe, and we seldom have ever seen him here in the States. You got a chokehold there, Papo. Break it up. This isn't a chokehold. My name isn't Davis. Just wiping the shoes off. This is a headlock reverse, uh, supposedly, but it's really a chokehold. can see it. Uh oh, he's got you right but the gizzard pipe now, boy. How much of this do you want? Bobby's going to take a full count. This is 
what I mean when I say Manigoff's an old campaigner. He knows how to be dirty if he has to be, and he will on occasion. You haven't won a thing yet, Poffo. Come on, let's keep going. Show's on the road. People have paid their money and bought their program. Couple of judo licks, that helps things along. He's sneaky, Bobby. Watch him. I tried to tell you. There's a headlock, Kip. This is about the first legal hold that Papo has had in the past five minutes. Still he cheats but trying to use the ropes. He's a sneaky little character. You wonder why he has a place in professional wrestling. People just love to see him get the tar whaled out of him, which almost invariably happens. But he's a good competitor. Uh, from that standpoint, if nothing else. But actually, he's a well-conditioned, tough boy. Bobby countered here with a reverse chin press. Let's see if he can make Papo let go of this headlock. He's got almost a pin, but not quite. Okay, you'll have to break up the hole. The man says you were pulling hair. A knee drop. Uh-uh, uh-uh, not from the 50-yard line. There's an arm set and a wrist lock extended. Go on, he'll bust it off of you, boy. Now well, let's run it back the other way. Keep circulation going. We have, of course, here at International, another packed house. If we had room for three more people, I don't know where they'd go unless it would be this big, broad lap of mine. Manigoff may be working towards a hammer lock here with a Japanese wrist lock added. Let's see if he's dropped the wrist lock. He might have, but I doubt it not one to give up a bit of advantage. No, he still has it. Oh, yes, Mother, we have ladies come here wearing mink stoles all the time, winter and summer. They're invariably late, too. Bobby still hung on to his hammerlock, but it'll have to be broken up. Any portion of the body out from under the lower rope. That's the way the rule goes. If your nose is long enough, you can get out on a profile. This 
right eye of Bobby's is beginning to turn black, as you can see. Turnabout's fair play, the reverse backflip, flying mare, count of two. Poffo was saved by the trunks. Mm -hmm. on a pin are uh oh that's what I thought would happen I was just going to say something about it when I started to talk about rules as a result I was speechless <laughs> it's normal This has the makings of a spread eagle that Bobby wanted to get out on the canvas and stretch him that way. But it's a standing toe hold at the moment. a small contract for the neighborhood uh, turning on frozen fire hydrants. Uh, he's got the power, believe you me. He's got Anjo just about ready to go for the foxhole here. This is a particularly useless feeling that you acquire when you're in this hold anyway. There's absolutely nothing you can do with it. Uh-oh. With a flourish, no less, he reached in under there and started it back the other way. Any time that Papu tries to get himself in a sitting position, why, all Manigoff has to do is put on another little twitch of power and... Uh, Angie changes his mind. Uh-oh. Look out, Angelo, your hand will get caught in his hair. By the trunks, then you got a clip in the jaw for your trouble. Serves you right. city limits there. Bobby wanted to tow him back in, but he was out of the fairway. Can't win on a disc 
qualification that easy, Angelo. He got butted in the head and stomped on both toes at the same time. That's a new maneuver. Well, it looks like we've run out of time. The bout with the full time limit and no decision is given. I said 30 minutes, folks. I meant 20 uh, when we started this thing. I don't know what is the matter with me. But Angelo Poffo, Bobby Manigoff have wrestled to a draw effectively. Russ Davis, ringside international. Hope you liked it. <laughs>